Wang Chung, the second seed. This one looks to be an absolute corker. Still looking to book their places as well. Alfred and Ardianto will take on Kang Min Kyuk and Seo Sung Jae in repeat of last year's final. That match coming up a little bit later on. Well, a real treat for the fans who were here to watch that last match. Will they have something similar here? They're waiting for their Korean representation. That'll be the last match of tonight. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. So they've met twice before. The Chinese have won both meetings, okay, so uh, most recently at the All England a few months ago, and they won in right. three. You're red. Right. You say, the Sabi or the Sip? The Sip, uh, Rang Lady, so the Sip. Who is the Sabi? One chant, one lady. Okay. So, find out a bit more about these uh, players. Chirag Shetty is uh, 26 years of age, is 187 tall. That's pretty tall, isn't it? Mumbai is where he's uh, born. And, uh, playing at his highest ranking of third in the world. Satvik Sairaj uh, Ranki Red is from the south of India, Malapuram. He's uh, 184 centimetres tall. And uh, these two have got a bronze at the World Championships last year. They get to defend that next month in Denmark. They've also uh, the defending uh, champions at the Commonwealth Games, as well as the Asian champions as well, currently. Uh, they've won all three matches actually quite comfortably. Look at that result against the fifth seeds, Hoki and Kobayashi. In the quarterfinals, impressive. And uh, as a pair, they've won six titles together, most recently this year, the Swiss Open and the Indonesia Open. Wang Chang is 22. He's 180 centimetres tall from Tertiang. And he is uh, at his highest ever ranking. Former World Junior Boys doubles champion. That uh, was with a, another partner. Lang Wei Kung is at 22, 176 centimetres tall from the south of China. And uh, these two together have won three doubles tournaments on the World Tour. This year, the India Open and the Thailand Open. They finished runners-up at the Malaysia and Singapore Opens. Uh, they had a walkover in the second round, but uh, their other two matches, they won very, Running very comfortably Ray. indeed. Shinjiro Iwashita from Japan is the umpire. Lang Wei Kung is a former boys world junior champion bronze medalist. Kim Hyun Yup of South Korea is the service judge. Yeah, these two teaming up uh, since uh, last year. <laughs> this year they've had a very, very good year. 27 wins out of 34 appearances, the the Chinese pair. 
Indians uh, not far behind, 21 wins out of 28. Which is about 75% above their average. Of 166 wins out of 250. Chinese 151 out of 67. On my right, your way can. They're on almost an 80% win rate this year alone. And their overall rate is 76. So it's been a good 2023. Third wing, and To Chinese have an excellent semi-final records on the World Tour. They've won six out of eight. So they did lose, they, and they won their last uh, two as well, uh, the Singapore Open and the Thailand Open. Can they make it three in a row? It's going to be quick pace, this one. And then something quite subtle one, from no. Leah. As for the Indians, that's a steepling smash from the tallest player here, Chirag Shetty. They, uh, the Indians have won 8 out of 16, 50% win rate in uh, semi-finals. They've won their last two in a row. The last time they lost was against this very pair in the semi-finals of the Malaysia Open. win rate against Chinese pairs. They've won 10 out of uh, 21, though they have won their last three against uh, Chinese pairs. The last time they lost again was at the All England against this particular pair. That was in the second round. So, Lang Wei Kung and Wang Chang seem to be their nemesis in many ways. As for the Chinese, they have a perfect record against Indian pairs. They have lost them in five meetings. But it's a tight start in this one. Good on the serve, and Liam can only bat it away. The uh, great Polela Gopichand uh, behind them. So there you can just see to the right of your screen, in the top corner. Sat Pixaraj, Ranki Reddy, and Chirag Shetty. Really come on in great leaps and bounds. And we're instrumental in India's historic Thomas Cup win last year.
almost miscommunication there between Leung and Wang. And the Indians should finish it off, Chirag Shetty does. As they have just played their longest rally at 29 shots. Very fast paced. Well, this is the furthest they've ever got, Ronky Reddy and Shetty. The first ever semi final of the career open. They made it twice in 2017 and last year as well. Playing well here at the moment, but young and one. So showing what they can do. Chuck, this is his debut in the career open. So he'd be delighted. He's got all the way to the semis as they uh, draw level here. Same for Liang Wei Kung, so they've been impressive. You can just hear uh, Palela Gopichan say, relax, relax, to his players. Yeah, they might be putting a bit of uh, pressure on themselves. Just short. Leading by two here, the Indians. <laughs> to the break, they go. The Indians lead by three. Yeah, having a look at his racket, I think that was gone. So the Indians with the biggest lead so far, three points in this match. Yeah, as I said, they were very impressive against Toki and Kobayashi yesterday. And uh, perhaps a bit surprising that they won uh, as comfortably as they did. Why can they push on from this uh, three-point lead? Yes, they can. It's up to four. Remind us so far today. We've had uh, Chinese winners in the mixed doubles semi final. It's going to be an all China affair. There'll be Chinese representation in the uh, Women's doubles final against uh, Korean Bev Kim and Kong. 
Chen Yufei has lost to An Se Young. And uh, after this match, there's still Xi Yuqi as China's final representative. Leaders. Was six. Oh, after that fault. It's a good position here for the Indians. This is the kind of position they found themselves in uh, yesterday against Hoki and Kobayashi. <laughs> that makes it in. Took the gamble there. Chirag Shetty looked for all intents and purposes like it was going out. But if there is indeed that drift that we are speculating on coming from their end, it might just help to keep that in. Actually, it was very comfortably in, in, wasn't it? And so was that one. A couple of uh, quick points there for the Chinese. Looking to mount a comeback here. Two of them have been comfortably in. Shallow shot, that one. And Leung will be disappointed he couldn't get that over. It's a good six-point lead that restored for Ranki Reddy and Shetty. of points for them, isn't it? The Indians. Remember, they were leading by six earlier, 14-8. They're now leading by seven, the biggest lead so far, 18-11. Great placement, good aggression there from Ranki Reddy. And Yang and Wang are looking uh, quite passive at the moment. Pulled one back here. They desperately needed to. Has it come a little too late? That is better from the Chinese. One puts it away. A couple of good points for them. Still a long, long way to go. Trailing by. Six. Three in a row. This is their best run so far of the game for the Chinese. of game points, six in hand for the Indian pair. Snatching it in, Liang. 
and excellent from Rocky Reddy and Shetty very comfortably Chinese only had a lead right at the start of this game and after that Indians never looked back So brilliant from them. A lot of work you feel to do from the Chinese, who really didn't look that proactive today. 21-15, the first game to Ranki Reddy and Shetty. Let's see how the Chinese uh, respond in this second game. Yeah, you feel that uh, Lang and Wang need to play a little bit more on the front foot here in the second game. Too high for Ranki Reddy. There is a line there that the uh, service judge has, which uh, the shuttle must be below uh, when it's uh, hit for the serve. from Leo. We've seen that in spurts, haven't we? Not, uh, not enough of that, perhaps. Young does well, but so does Shetty. All action in it. Clips the nets. And in fact, I think the Indians might feel they could have won that a little earlier. Good reactions from Liao. That was what did the... Uh, help get the point for the Chinese. Dancing on the net, on the tape. 
Just out. Back in front here, Lang and Wong. There you go. Again, a reminder. It's the world number three for the Indians against the world number two, the Chinese. That first game, a little surprising and how it panned out. Now, it was around this stage that the Indians started to make their move and never looked back. Remember, they've won the Swiss Open and Indonesia Open this year. The Chinese have won two titles as well, the India Open and the Thailand Open. Looking to intercept there, Wang Chung, and it did the business. Now this is going kind of going along more along the lines of what we thought it would. It was something like this up till just before the interval, when it was 9-8 uh, in favour of the Indians, as I said, and then after that. Just surged forward. Right now it's the Chinese just in front. But it has really been alternating points up till now. this second game just yet. Good reactions there. From Shetty, and that helps draw the Indians level. Brown <laughs> looks annoyed. <laughs> A big hand up there from Shetty. <laughs> That's why. Why to the face of Wang. So the Indians, again, in a slightly familiar position from the last game. They 11-8 up in game two, having won that first game. Wow. 
The lead is up to four. This is almost a carbon copy of the previous game. Chinese need to do something here. Stay in this. That's one way. Saw that four point lead, Runky Ready and Shetty, and now make it five. 14, Trouble increasing here for the Chinese pair. Still feel they'll have a say in this. Some evasive maneuvers by the Indians, the Chinese looking to surge back, only two behind. They suddenly seem to have just come alive a little bit more. just out and it's a tight one which is why the Chinese feel that they should be challenging this I think that might be in you know let's see oh no it is out from that angle yep it is certainly out Well, they want to keep themselves, as we say, within that striking distance of two to three points, the Chinese. Three, two, 
But the Indians are never letting them get anywhere closer than two points. This is not quite as dominant as the previous game, but they are still in charge here. Ranky Reddy and Shetty. So they will look back at the point that they were 14-9 up at one stage. Five-point lead, it's now down to two. showing that uh, that two-point lead cannot be broken just yet. Three in front. Their pattern has been, on when they are leading by three, that the Chinese peg them back. Let's see if they can uh, change that now, the Indians. Yeah, they just seemed unsure of themselves. They're a bit tentative, Rocky Reddy and Shetty. Back to that two-point barrier. That's the first time they've done it in a while. The lead is now down to one. It's not been this close. Since it was 9-8 in favor of the Indians. Remember, it was 14-9 at one stage. And now at 18-16, it means that the Indians have won Nine out of the last 16 points. So it's been very tight since then. Thank you. So I'll just correct myself there, my very poor maths. It was 14-9, as I said. Indians have only won four of the last 11 points, excuse me. And they're leading by two here. Can they finish this off? Chinese pair right on their tail now. Well, he's been excellent on those jump smashes. Liang. And now the pressure is on the Indians. Been a good comeback here from the Chinese. Trailing by five, 9-14. Nine of the last 13 points have gone their way. What will the Indians do here? Relieve that little bit of pressure, but it's very, very tight indeed. They can get themselves to match point. There is zero margin of error left for Liang and Wang. This next point absolutely crucial. 
for either pair. Oh, it's short. Oh, what a time for that to happen. And the pressure has shifted again. Well left by Liang. But he relieves it again. Shetty makes up for it immediately. And he's given the Indian pair a slender one point lead. But it is an important one. It's match point. Will they convert it? Oh, they've gone short again. They have. Same thing that happened just a minute or two ago has repeated itself here for the Indians. First Shetty and now Ranky Reddy. We need a winner by two clear points. They have their second match point. Oh, drama continues. Again, they cannot finish it off the Indians. Yeah, a very tough shot to play at that angle. You know, the height wasn't great, was it? And Wong puts it away. But the Indians give themselves a third match point. Well, neither side seems to be serving particularly well at the moment. Now, let's see what happens here. Oh, again. Well, no one wants to win this. Indians have had three match points. And they've won. Every time they've drawn level, Indians have won the next point. What happens here? They've done it again. Fourth time lucky, maybe, for India. Well, just to delay proceedings for a little bit, they've got the court wiped down. Fair few Chinese fans in the uh, in the crowd here. India with their fourth match point. It topples over, it does the business. They don't care how it happens. And India are through the pairing of Chirag Shetty and Sakhi Saraj Ranki Reddy, their third final of 2023. They've won their last two. And they do it again. Delight from them.
the Chinese battled back, you've got to say. 9 14 down. They're milking it, and why not? <laughs> A little bit of club style there. <laughs> Rocky ready, the crowd are loving it. And why not? Great entertainers, they've enjoyed themselves. Smiles all around. And we wait to see who their opponents are. Look at this. It was hanging on the on the net, wasn't it? I'm sure it felt like an eternity for them. Ranky ready. Oh, enough to just topple it over. The fourth time of asking. And they are through. And their very first final at the career open. <laughs> Great celebrations there from the Indian pair. Sami Sairaj, Ranki Reddy and Chirag Shetty, the third seeds from India, beat the second seeds from China. Liang Weikung and Wang Chang, 21-15, 24-22, did it in just about 40 minutes. Up next, we have China's third seed, Xi Yuqi versus Anders Antonsen of Denmark. An entertaining match there in the men's doubles. We return to men's singles. Uh, Xi Yuqi of China, the third seed, takes on Anders Antonsen, the day. And we wait to see who will play Lo Kian Yu, who had 